Space radiation is one of the biggest challenges for the human journey to Mars. It is quite different and more dangerous than radiation on Earth. The International Space Station, for example, orbits just within the Earth's protective magnetic field. However, astronauts receive over 10 times the radiation than what is naturally occurring on Earth. NASA is planning to send humans to Mars around the 2030s. The magnetic field is what protects us, but outside the field, it gets really dangerous. There you can find galactic cosmic rays, solar particle events, and the Van Allen belts, which contain trapped space radiation. NASA can protect the crew from solar particle events, thus advising them to shelter in an area with additional shielding materials. However, galactic cosmic rays are a bigger problem to handle. These particles are highly energetic and they come from all over the galaxy. They can tear right through metals, plastics, water, and cellular material. This ionizing radiation travels through living tissues, depositing energy that causes structural damage to DNA and alters many cellular processes. But NASA is currently working on new ideas and concepts to protect humans from galactic cosmic rays. These concepts include shieldings for transport vehicles, habitats, and spacesuits with state-of-the-art models. These preparations take place inside the NASA Space Radiation Laboratory, NSRL, which helps to access many of the health risks associated with cosmic radiation. NASA mentioned that scientists are investigating pharmaceutical countermeasures they might be more effective than shielding to protect crews from galactic cosmic rays. Engineers are developing enhanced space weather forecasting tools. They are also studying faster rockets to reduce the time spent in space and exposure to radiation. Pat Troutman, NASA Human Exploration Strategic Analysis Lead, says Mars is the best option we have right now for expanding long-term human presence. We've already found valuable resources for sustaining humans, such as water ice just below the surface and past geological and climate evidence that Mars at one time had conditions suitable for life. If you like this channel and want to support us, please subscribe and hit the bell icon.